autumn winter 2023 back trends you need to know right now let's get into it bitches numero uno seeing red i love the color red designers unveiled a plethora of red handbags from tuck to slouchy to clutches to crossbody bags, you name it, it's out there in the color red. It looks so beautiful. You can see it on the Valentino runway, Ferragamo, Marnie, Gucci. I personally love the color red. Thank God that in my collection, I actually have a red bag by Marc Jacobs. And that will be the one that I'm incorporating for, for the fall winter, even though I'm not looking forward to the fall winter because as much as I love the change of seasons, I just don't like being cold. Numero dos. Handle that thing. You know where I'm going. Handle that. I don't know a season that it went out of style, to be honest with you, but if you thought that it did or it went on a hiatus, then bring it back out. This, I feel like it's been in season, so it's not something that I, for me is coming back. But in the event that you needed that extra boost, that extra inspo, it is in for fall, winter 2023. Bring out your top handle bags. One of the ones that I've been eyeing for such a long time is Lady Dior. I've been loving that bag, but bags are just at a ridiculous price point. So of course, I would try and offer a dupe, but that is the one that I've been eyeing. You can see it all over in different designers, different price points ranging from acne to off-white to Prada. I love Prada and their top handles is also so gorgeous, so beautiful. But the one that I've been eyeing for seasons and seasons and seasons is the Lady Dior. Numero tres, chain reactions. Uno de mi favorito. I am obsessed with chain reactions. I've been eyeing one from L.W. Anderson, but there's one by that brand I've been eyeing for quite a while. I love the chains. I just am like, there's something about chain hardware on bags that just gets me going. I love it. I love how it looks. It looks so edgy so badass it looks so sexy surely for your handbag i mean you can see it from victoria beckman louis vuitton i mean consider the omnipresent metallic hardware or jewelry for your handbag numero cuatro so consider wearing silver for your daytime outfit you're probably like it's going to be too loud but keep in mind that i'm coming from a new york city perspective we're here in new york city we tend to wear a lot of darker clothes i don't know about you but i go darker in my mind too I, I go darker with my makeup. I look alabaster white. So it's almost like I went gothic. I went from Latina to Caucasian. <laughs> from just the difference of one season. <laughs> I mean, it's just an unexpected twist to your daytime outfit. Of course, you can go ahead and wear silver for the nighttime. It looks beautiful with dimly lit lights in a restaurant or a lounging bar. But consider it wearing it with uh, your daytime outfit. You can also wear it with neutral colors like heavy creams and heather grays and things like that and it's going to look so beautiful the Bottega Venera one the leather one it looks so beautiful it's like a mirror like quality it just looks so stunning so edgy and sexy Jacquemus has their own take on the silver trend reformation so you're going to see it a lot if you have it in your collection whip it out lastly numero cinco studs I love studs because again, it kind of goes back to the chain links. I love hardware on my bags. I don't know, I am uh, severely drawn to it. I think it just looks so edgy, so beautiful, so cool, right? Like it has this cool thing to me. And so you're gonna see it from shoes to jewelry, into studded bags, in every silhouette imaginable for the season. And it was up and down the runway ranging from Hermes. So freaking cool, so beautiful. I would love to take this bag out and go have a tequila shot. Well, I'm not gonna go have a tequila shot. I'm gonna have a tequila drink. <laughs> Go have a tequila drink, even GCDS. A designer came out with their own take on this trend. Find this in Mango. You're gonna find this in Zara. If you have it in your closet, bring it out because it's going to be huge. And why I thought of uh, Trump when I said huge. Ahí lo tienen. Which one is going to be the trend that you will embark on? ¿Cuál es tu favorito? Déjame saber en los comentarios abajo. Leave me a big thumbs up. Suscribe a mi canal. Y dale a la campana de notificación because it would uh, let you know when I upload.